Well, hey everyone, this is Shirish and welcome back to my channel. Today, I have another Ivy League Cornell University for you. Cornell is strong in engineering and architecture and world famous in hotel administration. Some say it is the easiest Ivy to get in and also the farthest from an urban center. Well, in this video, I will give you an in-depth view of the university and will decode the academic, social and financial aspects of the university with my star ratings. And then, I will offer you the most important tips and strategies to get into Cornell. Well, these tips are especially for postgraduate students, undergraduate freshmen or first-time students, and also for transfer students. This knowledge and these strategies are not known to 90% applicants, so make sure to grab a pen and a paper and take notes, or save this video for your later reference by hitting the like button. Well, as they say, there is no magic formula that guarantees you will get into Cornell, but if you watch this video carefully till the end and implement the ultimate strategies discussed in this video, you will surely at least triple your chances to get into this Ivy League university. So let's look into this very popular Cornell University. Hi, I'm Shirish Gupta and I empower people to hack their success, rise above the challenges and confidently create an extraordinary life they deserve. Like most other Ivy League universities, Cornell is a premium research institution with a distinguished faculty and outstanding academics. What sets it apart is its pre-professional preparation and a student body that strives for high academic achievement and at the same time for vigorous social life. Cornell's main campus spans about 2,300 acres in the heart of New York State's Finger Lakes region and only steps away from the shops, restaurants, nightlife and activities of Ithaca. Perched atop a hill that commands a view of both the city of Ithaca and Cayuga Lake, Cornell is breathtakingly scenic, with ravines, waterfalls and parks bordering all sides of the campus. The Cornell Botanic Gardens, more than 3,500 acres of woodlands, natural trails, streams and gorges, provide space for walking, picnicking and contemplation. I also want to talk about Cornell Tech campus in the heart of New York City. Cornell Tech is a technology, business, law and design campus of Cornell University located on Roosevelt Island in Manhattan, New York City for postgraduate and PhD students. The most popular majors at Cornell University include engineering, architecture, hotel management, psychology, kinesiology, English and creative writing, biochemistry and molecular biology, economics and business art, computer science and theater. Although I'm not a big fan of judging a university solely on the basis of the ranking, still Cornell is top 5% universities in the world according to US News, QS News and all other major ranking services. Alright, now let's move on to our next section talking about the right fit, starting with academic fit. At Cornell, you will actively explore the material before you, design a formal line of inquiry and follow it, work with various teams and get your hands dirty, really. Cornell may be the Ivy League, but students at Cornell exist in and learn from the world around them. Cornell's extraordinary community of scholars is dedicated to solving the issues facing the world, educating the leaders of tomorrow and bettering people's life. Public service is a pillar of Cornell academics. It is not only enriches the community, it enriches your understanding on how ideas work in real life. So it's pretty practical. Cornell offers more than 4,000 courses in more than 100 fields of study. Cornell's College of Arts and Science boasts considerable strength in history, government, and just all about natural and physical sciences. The English program has turned out a number of celebrated writers. The performing arts, mathematics, and social science departments are considered good. The College of Agriculture and Life Sciences is highly ranked and a good bet for anyone hoping to make it big into veterinary school, like Cornell's Graduate College of Veterinary Medicine is among the best. While the School of Industrial and Labor Relations is the preeminent school of its kind, the College of Business offers more than a dozen concentrations including agribusiness, management, finance, accounting and real estate, and business analytics too. The quality of teaching is really top-notch because the majority of professors are regarded as experts in their respective fields. For undergraduate, first-year courses in the sciences and social sciences are generally large lectures, but overall 58% of classes have fewer than 20 students. For postgraduates, class size is from small to medium. There is a competitive atmosphere as students who attend Cornell are ambitious and passionate. However, this is a positive and motivating force as per students. 90% of Cornell students ranked in the top 10th of their high school class or college class. So those who are among the class genius in high school or college should be prepared for a struggle to rise to the top. Overall, Cornell academics are demanding and foster an integrity found on a few campuses. So keeping all this thing in mind, I would rate Cornell with 5 stars on academic quality and difficulty level, where 5 is the highest level. After academic fit, let's move on to social fit. 
Common students are friendly, fun and balanced. Despite the intense academic atmosphere or maybe because of it, Connell's social life beats most of other Ivies hands down. Once the weekend arrives, local parties, state parks and ski slopes are filled with Connell students seeking a balance between study and play. With 25% of men and 25% of women pledging fraternities and sororities, these groups play a significant role in the social scene. Students have their pick of roughly 1000 student organizations including clubs of Japanese drumming and bhangra dancing and there are innumerable concerts and sporting events throughout the year. Just over half of Cornell students live in university housing. North campus residence halls are the home for all freshmen and about 2000 students like mostly sophomores live in the west campus house system in five living learning houses with professors in residence, house chefs and creative programming. There are dorms devoted to everything from ecology to music and cultural houses include the International Living Center, Latino Living Center, Ujama Residential College and others. Approximately 5% of postgraduate students live in university housing. Cornell's graduate and professional student residences offer many opportunities but most PG students they live off campus. Most of Cornell's graduate students live in the Ithaca area in residences that are not university owned. Many areas around the Cornell campus are within walking distance so owning a car may not be a necessity. However, the hills in Ithaca can make walking to and from certain areas difficult at times. Although the Ithaca area does have public transportation and car share, service is limited in certain areas and on weekends. For PG students, I would highly recommend looking for off-campus housing early. Popular off-campus neighborhoods are College Town, Downtown and Fall Creek, uh, Cornell Heights or Cayuga Heights, Northeast and Lansing, South Hills and a few others. Cornell's food service is reputedly among the best in the nation with eight residential dining halls that function independently. The food is very diverse and super tasty. Everyone eats together in Thomas Commons. The food is generally good, vegetarian options are also available. Cornell boasts the largest intramural program in the Ivy League with more than a dozen sports including 100 hockey teams. Connell has won several Ivy League team titles during the last decade and made a slew of high-profile Division I national championship appearances, most recently in wrestling, women's ice hockey, men's lacrosse and men's basketball. But men's ice hockey is unquestionably the dominant sport on campus, its chief goal being to defeat Howard and camping out for the season's ticket in an annual ritual. Social scene at Connell is highest among the Ivies, despite the intense academic atmosphere, or maybe because of it, Connell's social life beats most of the other Ivies hands down. I would like to give it 4 stars out of 5 on the quality of life at Cornell. But now let's look at the financial fit. Cornell being a private school and an Ivy fall in an expensive school category. But since it is a land grant university, it offers slightly lower fees for New York residents in its state contract colleges. The fee ranges from $40,000 in state contract colleges to about $65,000 for international students in annual tuition expenses. Housing and dining may fall about $17,000 to $20,000 range for most. Cornell has implemented several financial aid initiatives including the Tata Scholarships for Indian Students. The university does not award merit or athletic scholarships. Cornell is need blind in admissions and meets the demonstrative need of all accepted applicants majorly in US. But for international students, Cornell University practices need aware international admissions. I want to take a moment to talk about this. Need blind admissions policies do not take into account a student's socioeconomic status. On the other hand, Need aware meaning a student's ability to pay is factored into whether or not he or she will be accepted. This means that some students might be rejected because they can't pay and if they have applied for financial aid. So if you are an international student, make sure to apply for financial aid only if you can't pay. Don't just apply for financial aid for just the sake of it because that might result in rejection since Cornell is need aware for international students. But overall, I would like to give Cornell 2 stars out of 5 on affordability and cost of education. Well, now after exploring the fit, let's move on to the most curious section on how to get into Cornell. Access and affordability are extremely important to Cornell, as are diversity and inclusion. Cornell's admission process is highly individualized and they spend a lot of time evaluating whether an applicant will be a good fit for the culture and philosophy of Cornell University. The result is an incredibly rich mix of students, which is one of the best things about Cornell. Admission to Cornell is highly selective with approximately 10% of applicants admitted each year. Well now let's talk about my admission advice to get an admission to Cornell. The ideas I'm going to share now are not available anywhere and comes from my decade long experience working with students for career and college admission. Like most other Ivies or top universities, Cornell looks for students who have consistently taken a broad range of challenging courses in high school or college and have done well. 
Now this is obvious since it is an academic institution, but this is just the starting point. As a student, you must be interested in academics and must demonstrate a passion for learning. Yes, that's very important for Cornell. Passion for learning. So it's not just about high grades, it's about your passion for learning that matters. So take courses that you will love to explore in high school or your college. And if you don't have academic freedom, look to take these courses outside, maybe on online MOOC platform like Coursera or edX. Show them that you have gone an extra mile to pursue your love for learning. That's very important. Along with academics, Cornell is interested in your character. Yes, attributes like honesty, open-mindedness, initiative, empathy. Your values are important to Cornell. And if you're thinking how on earth can you display these qualities, don't worry. A lot of students or parents have same question as you when we coach them personally. The answer to this is through your essays and recommendations. Well, both these must not include things you have done, rather who you have become. Please listen to it again. So you must demonstrate your strongest personal attributes in your essays and recommendations. If not already, learn the art of writing such essays and recommendations. Connell also looks for your extracurricular activities, community involvement, workplace experience, leadership. What special talents or interests have you developed? Talk more about it. Connell values public service and talking about your community involvement for public service is a great idea. Another thing Connell wants to know is whether you have decided on a major or not. How do you plan on taking advantage of the exceptional learning environment at Connell? Why is this the right place for you? So make sure to think ahead of these questions. What major or specialization if you're doing master's program and why Cornell? Lastly, Cornell carefully looks into application SOP or essays and you must work on them well. Here are some tips to consider for Cornell's essays. Give careful thought to the questions asked, but don't try to write the answer that you think Cornell wants to hear. Give the answers that tell Cornell about you. Another tip. In your essay, Help Connell understand your thoughts and feelings about something that is important to you. They are interested in a topic that you choose, how you develop your idea, and how will you express yourself. Again, it's about you. In other words, while writing your SOP or essays, be authentic on original. Bring out your personal attributes with thoughts and feelings. This will do a ton of good for your application. For transfer applicants especially, Connell considers you as a transfer applicant if you have graduated from high school or have earned 12 or more credits. But my advice is to transfer after one academic year. This will give you more things to talk about in your application. Transfer admission process is very similar to freshman application with few differences. For instance, SAT or ACT scores are not required by Connell for transfer candidates. Also, before you apply, you must determine which college is the right fit for you. The entry requirement varies from college to college. So make sure to check the requirements of your chosen program for transfer. You'll be required to send your application through common application, just like uh, the freshman, and must submit the writing supplements as well. Now as for deadlines for admission, Cornell offers two deadlines for undergraduate admission, that is early decision. Yes, it's early decision and not an early action. And it's generally November 1st for the preceding year of your entry. And other is regular decision, which is January 1st week. For transfer students, the deadline for fall semester is around March 15th and for spring transfer is around about October 15th. For all postgraduate courses, they have individual department deadlines with either one or two deadlines between September to March every year. Well, in the end, to conclude, if you are all right with living in a far off location and becoming a part of a niche community that is endeavoring to be the best worldwide, then you are perfect for Cornell. So that's it for today. I hope you've liked this video. Make sure to support my work by liking and sharing this video and also subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. Also, a very important thing. If you really want to get admission to your dream college, including Cornell University, you can check out my course on college admission. It is the most comprehensive course on the planet, teaching you tons of strategies for university shortlisting, college interviews, profile building, essay writing, and everything else that will make sure that you get into the school of your choice. Well, thank you once again for watching this video. I'll be back with another amazing video. Till then, this is Shirish signing off. Take care. Have a good one.